Okay, so not long till exam time now, so um, you want to get the most bang for your buck from your revision. One of the easiest ways to get marks in the physics is by knowing your equations and knowing your symbols uh, and the, um, the terms of the equations. So if you look in the uh, GCC Combined Science Trilogy um, specification, you are told that students should be able to recall and apply the following equations. That means you need to remember all of these equations. Um, and use the standard SI units. So you need to be familiar with the units as well. So that's quite a hell of a lot of stuff to remember. So you get given, sorry, you, you, you have to remember these equations, but you're going to uh, be given these equations. Okay, so a sensible strategy, I think, is to break up all the equations. You're gonna to have to learn all 21 into two lots. So we've got the ones on the paper one and the ones on the paper two, okay? So, um, your exams will be several days apart, so you'll have a chance to focus just on the paper ones and focus just on the paper twos. Uh, so I think that will give you some confidence going into the uh, exam if you know you know all the equations you need to know for that paper. So uh, just to be clear, you're going to be given these first three equations for paper one, um, and you will need to learn all the rest. So you'll need to know the work formula, kinetic energy, etc. You'll need to know all of the rest of the formula. So I think a good way of learning those is to uh, spend some time with this document. This document is available um, to download in the links. And once you feel you've got your head around it, go to the Kahoot quiz and uh, practice the Kahoot quiz until you can reliably identify and remember, recall the formula. Okay, so the Kahoot quiz, if you click the link, you should come to this page and then you can click play. And then it's a good idea to go into game options and uh, randomize order of questions, randomize order of answers. And this means you, you're you genuinely practicing. You don't want to learn the answers because you've learned them in order. You want to learn the answers because you can recognize what the question's saying and, and find the right answer based on that. Okay. Um, if the Kahoot quiz is going well, please comment, like, subscribe, share, and also give me some feedback. If you would like uh, additional questions, I can start adding more in. If it's being used well, I'll do that. Once you have got your head around the equations and you can remember them, it's time to start applying them. And again, this document will be available. So here is an example. I will do one example application. So you can see what we mean by apply. Okay. So here's a question. What is uh, what amount of strain energy is stored by a spring with a spring constant of five newton meters that has been extended by two meters? Right. So I can see straight away that it's this formula here. Sorry, this formula here. It's um, elastic energy is equal to half ke squared so I'll write the formula elastic energy is equal to a half ke squared now if you actually look on this document here we have a suggestion for how you should go about um, calculating or solving these problems and the suggestion is is that you take your formula write it um, and you substitute the numbers you know in you calculate what you can calculate so here you can do 10 squared, 0 squared is 0, you can do 2 times 2, 0.5, sorry, and you can get everything calculated out, and then you can rearrange from this step onwards. Now, you could rearrange a step earlier, but we're suggesting that you sub first and rearrange, uh, sub first, and then calculate, and then rearrange it as the last step, because you can still get marks for the correct substitution. So let's take that and go back to our question. We were using um, a half ke squared. So I need to go through the question. What is k? The spring constant is k. The extension is 2. So I'm going to do a half. I don't need to rearrange this one. Times 5. A half times 5. Times extension 2 squared. Okay, so I can work all that out with my calculator that you need to bring to the exam with you. Your own one. 2 squared is 4. Times 5. And then times a half point five. So that gets me 10. 10 and I'm going to write my answer with the unit okay so when you are doing this right please make sure that you are giving us all the important bits and pieces okay so we would be looking for I would be looking for this a good student who's prepared well will write the formula they will substitute correctly they will give me an answer and they will give me a unit so try and include all those four steps every single time if you do that you're communicating to the examiner that you know what you're doing now Again, like I said, this will be available, this document here will be available in the, the um, uh, links. And um, 
this document, there's three separate versions of it, so this time round you had to you didn't need to rearrange. On the second version you have to rearrange, on the third version you'll have to rearrange. Each question is the same, uh, the same order. And if you scroll to the very end of the document you will find if you scroll to the very end of the document, you'll find um, the answers. So here you go, 10 joules was the answer. Uh, just bear in mind, try to show all you're working. Okay, I hope you found this useful and helpful. Please comment, uh, give me feedback, what's useful, what do you want to see more of, etc. I'll try and make a paper 2-1 for you next week. Thanks for watching.